What's a family secret you didn't get told, until you were older, that made things finally make sense? That my sister, she was 16, when I was born, and kicked out, is my mother, her mother, my grandma raised me as her daughter, it doesn't end there, I was a product of abuse from a family friend, to this day I don't know who my real dad is, my grandma was in her 40s, when she had me, and my sister was sent to a boarding school, when she was pregnant with me, my sister has no idea that I know, something felt strange about my grandfather's funeral, just the way they were emphasizing his place in heaven, later found out, that he shot himself in the heart with a 357, same side of the family also had seemingly random people show up at family gatherings throughout my life, that ended up being a legitimate children of my grandma. I just started gaining uncles and cousins. Confuse the crap out of me as a child. Grandpa is a pedo with a track, recording my family. That's why I never got left alone with him. Unfortunately my cousins did. The expected happened. And then the unexpected. After 40 some years he finally got reported, and is now rotting in a county jail. My grandpa burned to death. I found out he died, when I was a kid, but was not allowed to go to his funeral. And they told me he had a heart attack. I was so confused, because everyone around me would clam up, when I asked about him. Turns out that he had a heart attack, while trying to put out a field fire. Collapsed. And burned. I still have no idea how long it took for people to find him, but I'm assuming it was ours. My sister and I both got uters at the same time, when our family was staying at our grandparents house. One day my grandma took both of us aside, and started what felt like an interrogation, about whether any adults had touched us. Like, if something happened, you have to tell me right now. At the time, I felt gross, confused and guilty, even though nothing had happened. It was just too intense. I later learned that my grandma had been sexually abused by her brother for years and her mother refused to believe her. When I was around 6 to 8 years old, my uncle passed away. I thought it was something sudden and medically tragic, as I remember him having lung problems of some sort. When I got older I found out he committed suicide, because his girlfriend broke up with him. I remember visiting my dad, and hanging out in my uncle's room, where we got to play video games, and listen to cool music with him. That was the start of me learning about mental illness running in the family, and connected a lot of dots for me. Was told my aunt and uncle died, because of a carbon monoxide leak in their house. When I was 16 I was told the truth. My uncle was having serious money problems. He shot my aunt, and then hung himself. One of my most beloved mom's recipe recipes was actually hamburger helper. She was a from scratch cook and literally everything else we ate she made herself. She never told us, because it made her so mad, that her kids would love a boxed meal so much. She did it once out of sheer desperate on, because she didn't have time to cook one night. We ended up loving it. I only found out in college, because I begged for the recipe. I love giving her crap for it to this day that my aunt's close friend, that she lives with is actually her girlfriend, was about 22, when they told me, never even thought about it, until it was said, weird how I was completely oblivious to this for so many years, my pet rabbit got attacked by something a couple years, after I got it, my parents found it dead, and replaced it, before I found out, I just thought my rabbit lived super long, but it was actually two rabbits, this happened over 10 years ago, and I found out last year. My parents were swingers. That my grandparents didn't talk to each other 20 years before my grandfather finally kicked the bucket. They lived in the same house the entire time too and no one knows why they weren't on speaking terms. I didn't know one of my cousins existed until I was about 10 years old. Turns out he was diagnosed with leukemia as a child, and I was a very sensitive kid. So my family decided not tell me, until the treatment was successful and he recovered. It would have been okay, if they told me, as soon as he was healthy again. But I guess they forgot, so the first time I met him, 
I was wondering how exactly I managed to forget the existence of a whole person. That my dad was a pedophile. Had no clue. Even through a decade of abuse. I was told to keep the secret. By him. And my family kept the secret from me, because they had thoughts of him being better. Or reformed. So, when I was 15 I realized it was wrong. Or, it all started to make sense. Who knew? As a child, you can't trust your own father. My aunt and uncle, who passed away when I was 11, were drug addicts. I adored them, but as I got older I started seeing less and less of them, and never understood why. My parents briefly told me, when I was 16, and that my uncle didn't die of a brain tumor. Actually had one though. But instead he shot himself, while my aunt was in the other room which lead to my aunt's drug related death on New Year's Day. They finally told me the whole story, when I was 21. I was the last person to know. Even my little brother knew before me. Because I was extremely close to them, and looked so highly of them. I still do. I wish I would have known sooner, but I understand, why they didn't tell me. My grandparents forced my aunt, to get an abortion before my family moved to America. Rendering her permanently sterile. It finally makes sense why none of the adults talk about having children around her. That my granny attempted suicide, when my mom was in high school. My mom was the one that found her. Luckily she did find her, because if she hadn't she wouldn't have survived. It explains why my mom panics the way she does, and jumps to conclusions all the time. If she can't get a hold of me, or my brother on the phone she automatically assumes we are dead and she panics. Recently, she couldn't get a hold of my brother for a few hours, and she lost all composure, and had a nervous breakdown. We just are starting to realize after all these years, that she probably has not diagnosed PTSD. When I was really young I never got why my dad wouldn't allow drinks like Kool-Aid in the house. Especially if it was grape. Later in life I found out he was part of the cleanup crew for Jonestown. Edit. I didn't think it would get this much attention. I just thought it was weird that dad was so against all the drinks you mixed up from a powder. Not even the country time stuff. I could have them at a friend's place though. My brothers and I all share very distinctive teeth with my dad. But no one else in the family has it. After my grand died I found some letters between her and my granddad while here was on national service. Going by the dates. Granddad was in Malaya when my dad was conceived. Edit the four of us all have severely crossed front teeth. Right over left. And the bottom front row are crowded. All in the same way. I have no idea if dad knows. We don't really talk. Gran is visibly pregnant in the wedding photos. Just about. And my granddad wasn't the brightest spark to it maybe he didn't realize. He absolutely doted on my dad. And they didn't have any more children. My brother and I are only half siblings. We didn't know that my dad isn't his dad until I was 10 and he was 15. The only reason he was told was because my mom was trying to manipulate him into choosing her side in the divorce. Growing up. I was told that my grandfather had five siblings, but I had only ever met one of them. As I got older, I was told that one brother had died from AIDS. Another brother had gone crazy from Agent Orange exposure. Yet another brother was living two blocks away, but had been shunned because he was gay. And sister was developmentally delayed and had basically become a ward of the state after their mother died. It made me understand why my grandfather was so into those cheesy Hallmark movie moments. He wanted to make some happy family memories. Fortunately, my grandfather and his shunned brother were able to reconcile before the brother's death. Uncle Bob was actually an FBI wanted person of interest for working on biological weapons and ties to white supremacy groups. My father was a capo from the Neapolitan Camorra. Was wanted by the Interpol and couldn't set a foot back in Italy without being immediately apprehended. He was also living under a stolen identity he used when he fled a high security prison in Italy. My last name never was my family name. That and much more. I used to like telling this story when I found out. Since everyone thought I was lying or joking anyway. I was 12. And only found out because my mom broke down after father was detained in Spain. 
while we lived in Argentina, which meant he might never come back to us. He escaped prison again a year later. When I was 7 years old, I remember my mom was really excited and telling me I was gonna have a little sibling. Then one day she suddenly stopped talking about it. I kinda just assumed she made a mistake and really wasn't pregnant. Fast forward to last month, and she told me that pregnancy ended in a miscarriage. Probably Sholdv expected that, but it was still kind of shocking fo here. That my grandfather raped my grandmother and that's how she conceived my dad. He used to beat my dad unconscious when my dad was as young as 5 years old and my grandmother did nothing about it. My grandmother then finally left my grandfather, only to be with an alcoholic pedophile who sexually abused young boys in church. She has great taste in men. Explains why my grandmother and father had a strained relationship, and why one Christmas my step-grandfather was covered in bruises. He said he had a fall, but when everything came out about his past, it was actually because a young boy who he'd abused tracked him down years later, and beat the living crap out of him. Not explicitly at our family, but a family that were our friends all of a sudden shut us out. And I didn't really know why. Turns out, the mom that adopted all the kids was having sex with the oldest. 16 at the time. 18 before he went to college. And called my mom whining about how the kid confessing screwed her over. Great stuff. My parents would never talk about my grandpa, my mom's dad. And I would always ask what happened to him since he died, and more info about him. My parents would always just say he died of a heart attack, and was a accountant and always get a look in their face. Little did I know he was an alcoholic who killed himself. It was just hard for my mom to talk about him. My mom planned me. I always believed. Wasn't till I was 24 I learned my father didn't. And that's why my father ducking hates me. My father had another child years before he was with my mother. My uncle cheated on my aunt when he'd go away on weekends for events related to a hobby a little over a decade into their marriage. And apparently every one of those weekends knew. My aunt would be home with three young kids while he was openly running around with another woman. Finally understood why my dad was always a little weird about him. Why one of his kids has had a hot and cold relationship with him. And also why he and my aunt are so into this marriage group thing they do. To the point of always going to conferences, even when money is super tight. My husband. 50. And his three siblings. 48. 54. 55. Just found out a few months ago that their mother. 80. Was adopted. I have done my own research as I'm too afraid to ask my aunt or grandma. But as far as I can tell grandpa wasn't forced into early retirement because he stole someone's teapot. He was stocking up on guns. Out of four girls, I'm the only one who can biologically have kids. I didn't find out until I was 24. And then, only because my mom wanted me to shut the duck up asking my recently married sister when they we are going to have kids. I now understand why my parents were so grossly underprepared to explain menstruation to me. The third daughter. They'd never had to do it before. Edit. I'm not going to go into detail. But the reason is chromosomal. They basically don't have the necessary internal parts and had to take hormone therapy. Edit 2. Don't ask people when slash if they are going to have kids. I had to learn this lesson the hard way. But you don't have to. It's none of your goddamn business. Exactly how my grandparents left North Korea in the 1950s considering how insane Kim Il-sung was about nationalism. 